Hi there, friends. Mrs. Caulfield here, ready to read chapter eight of oops, Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. Chapter eight is called The Dangerous Nurse's Office. Guess where I ran to? Straight to the nurse's office, of course, because there's those little plaid blankets to hide under there. There's other neat stuff there too, like a scale to weigh yourself and a sign with a giant E in other letters. The nurse uses a sign to test your eyes. She points to the letter and you have to yell out their names. You have to yell the E the loudest because that's how come it's so big. And guess what else? I saw in the nurse's office. Band-Aids, that's what, I love those guys. They, they were on top of the desk, and so I opened the lid and I sniffed at them. Mmm, I said, because Band-Aids smell just like brand new beach balls. Then I dumped them out. They were the most prettiest Band-Aids I ever saw. They were red and blue and green and also yellow, which is the color that I hate. And they were different shapes, too. There were squares and circles, and some were very long, the very long kind. And they were called triangles, and there were some called triangles, I think. I put the green circle on my knee. That's where I fell down the stair, the sidewalk last week. It's mostly better now, but if you press it very hard with your thumb, you can still make it hurt. After that, I put a blue tangle on my finger. That's where I got a splinter from the picnic table. Mother pulled it out with tweezers, but there's still some table in there, I think. Also, I put a red square on my arm. That's where Tickle scratched me because I got him all wound up. Just then, I saw the nurse's purple sweater. It was hanging on her chair. I put it on. No, I'm the nurse, I said. And then I sat down and I pretended to call the hospital. Hello, hospital. It's me, the nurse. I need some more band-aids and some aspirin and some cherry cough drops. Oh, not the kind that make your mouth feel fizz easy though. And I need some lollipops for when the kids get needles. And also I need a little stick or something in case I have to touch the, that dangly thing that hangs down in the back of your throat. Then I pretended to call room nine. Hello, missus. Please send Jim to my office. I have to give him a shot. Just then, I saw my most favorite thing in the whole world. They were near the door, and their names are crutches. Crutches are for when you break your leg. Then the doctor puts it in a big white cast with your piggies sticking out, and then you can't walk. And so she gives you crutches to swing yourself. I ran over and picked them up, and then I put my arms in them, only they were way too long for me, and I didn't swing very good. And so then I got another idea and I carried them to the nurse's chair and I climbed it up on the chair. There. So I was real tall. And then I put the crutches under my arms and they fitted just right. After that, I stood it on the edge of the edge of the chair and I leaned it forward very slow. Except then a terrible thing happened. The chair was on wheels and it rolled it away from my feet. And I got stuck on the crutches way up high in the air. And it was very dangly up there. Hey, I shouted, get me down from here. And then I wiggled around and one of the crutches slipped and I came crashing down and I banged my head on the desk. Ow, I yelled, ow, ow, ow. And then I picked it up the phone again and I said, I quit this stupid job. And I slammed it down the phone and then I ran it out of there very fast because the nurse's office is a dangerous place and crutches aren't my favorite thing anymore. And that was chapter eight. Chapter nine is called <laughs> Zooming Speedy Fast. Oh boy, Junie B. Until then, be good.